Still basing his war plans on an expansion of South Korean forces, he visits a crack division of rocks on a snow-capped ridge, where he is greeted by President Syngman Rhee. President Rhee has assured the future President of the United States that his country is eager to assume the major burden of its defense. Modernization of Korean equipment and training courses is one of the main objectives of the General's plans. The rock soldiers have already proven themselves on Sniper Ridge. And now, for the benefit of the high command, they put on an impressive exercise. After the maneuvers, General Eisenhower congratulated President Rhee on the performance of his troops. He thanks the President for the Korean flag, which will eventually be displayed in the White House, memento of an historic mission. Meanwhile, the tidings of Eisenhower's presence draw an estimated half million onto the streets of Seoul. A crowded schedule prevents the president-elect from attending the demonstration, and the vast throng is naturally disappointed. But the mere fact of Ike's visit raises the hopes of this war-ravaged people for the future. <laughs> 